the human body is made mostly of water, so keep it pure. Hyper pure. Hello and welcome back to the Monastery of Flavor at St. Anthony Industries. My name is Josiah. In the studio today, we have Aaron, we have Andy, and we also have September who's going to be joining me for the live stream and answering questions as they come in live. So if you have any questions, make sure to ask them today as we talk about the Atlantis Cup. Hello, September. Hello, Josiah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. This is your first YouTube, YouTube live. This so is. This is well, being on like the camera. Yeah, that for is. Sure. Yeah, you're always, we always hear your voice. So this is September's face, everybody. Um, so we're going to be talking about the Atlantis Cup today, which is part of the Hyperpure line, including the uh, Sojourner and the Voyager here. Uh, but we're not talking about those today. We're going to do some testing with the uh, cup today and uh, show you what it looks like when it comes to your door. It's $27 on our website currently. And uh, yeah, so. Um, to get started, this is how it comes to your door. It'll arrive like this in this box here. Just a little quick unboxing, if I may. Open it up. And we have, this is the Stardust color. So we decided to uh, name this one Stardust because it uh, looks like Stardust apparently. And then uh, we have our Lunar Cream color here. And then we have our Midnight color here. So those are our three, three colors for the Atlantis Cup. Uh, the Atlantis Cup is designed and tested in the USA in combination with M2 Labs. It's a uh, feather light. Um, it also has the NA uh, ceramic lining, dual wall uh, aluminum. Uh, so it's like a metal cup, but with the ceramic lining. So it's really light, very sturdy, um, and it's hyper pure. So uh, it's also BPA free and splash resilient with the lid. This, these lids fit on really tightly. Mm -hmm. And they're really nice in that regard. Um, they, they're not sealed. That's what our uh, Sojourner travel mugs for. They're, they're really for two different types of people and lifestyles, but I use both in different combinations. But yeah, um, if you want to, let's, let's test it out a bit. You want to test it out a bit? Yeah, let's test it out a bit. Let's test it out a bit. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so we have, uh, we have our lid here. Um, the lid is uh, mildly slanted, so um, it's designed to be splash resilient, so we're just going to do a little test on it. Here, put some water in here. I could also take off this, uh, this packaging and then we'll get the, the legit yeah, cup going here. I can take the packaging off. Right, I think it looks great go. though. It looks great with the packaging on and off. <laughs> if you want to keep your packaging on. It's like the hat, you keep the sticker on. <laughs> you keep the this sticker. This is legit SAI. <laughs> so you put the splash guard on, if you're in your car, it's not going to splash out. If it, if it does splash out, it's splash resilient and it splashes onto the lid, it will roll back into your cup because it's a slanted lid. And then, uh, yeah. So it's also, uh, it is hyper pure and what that means is with the ceramic lining, if you put coffee in your cup and then you drink it and you rinse it out and you put water in your cup, you should not be able to taste the difference. So we're going to test that out with September here. You want to do that? Yes. Um, and then someone did ask, yeah. um, are they thermo cups? Thermo cups. So they are, uh, do you mean are they vacuum sealed? They are vacuum sealed, dual wall, aluminum housing with the ceramic lining. Does that answer the question? I think so. Yeah. So it keeps your, keeps your uh, drink really cold or really hot depending on what you're drinking we actually put ice in there yesterday yeah at I 2 did. p.m. and then we tested it at 2 p.m. today so 24 hours later we tested the temperature of the ice so it melted over 24 hours there was ice in there this morning Andy said but we tested the temperature of the water and it was still 40 degrees so pretty close to 32 degrees which is at what temperature something freezes uh, obviously and so it's still maintained to 40 degree temperature 24 hours later so it really m retains temperature like really, really well. And I actually tested it against other dual wall cups and this is far superior to the other cups that I've tested it against, so. I mean, it, it, it doesn't taste as metallic -y as other, it doesn't taste like metallic -y as like other all. ones yeah. do. This one doesn't, it has the, you really just get the taste of the coffee. 
Definitely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, uh, our process today is we're gonna make an Americano. We're gonna put it in one of these cups. Um, and then we're going to, uh, I'm gonna take the packaging on off, off all of these cups. And we might do a little test and see if we can taste the difference. Um, a little taste testing. Yeah, going from water to coffee. You know how like sometimes you have uh, coffee in your in your metal cup, right? And then you put water in it, and it still tastes like coffee, except it's like the really dirty, nasty coffee taste. Well, this cup, um, which looks awesome without the lid on it, by the way, this is how I use it most of the time in my house and at work. Like we use these all the time here, <laughs> I think and we put them only... through like rigorous like. They oh, pretty yeah. much fall on the ground, and we keep like coffee grounds in them. All <laughs> <over>. <laughs> they are. They're very sturdy, and so, awesome. um, yeah. So when we test these out, we test them out, you know, on an individual individual basis here at work and and at home, and and I actually honestly love this cup, and I take them on trips with me as well, um, and so it'll keep my coffee hot for like an entire road trip, like if I'm driving 10 hours or whatever, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It does well in that regard. So, let's make an Americano. I have some coffee from uh, Public, which is actually right across the street here in Salt Lake City, Public Coffee Roasting. Um, and I'm going to make an Americano. We're gonna put it in one of these cups. Um, I'm not going to, uh, let's see. I'll put it in another cup, right? And then, and then I will, Put it in a cup, and she's not gonna. She's gonna turn around, and then I'm gonna dump it out, and I'm gonna rinse it, and then I'm gonna put water in all three cups, and you're gonna do a taste test to see if you can distinguish which cup had the coffee in it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Does that sound good. Yes, okay. that sounds great. All right. Maybe you'll guess it, but just Maybe. be honest. Just be honest. I'll this be is, honest. I'll be honest. We'll do our best. I'll be honest. I'll do my best. But. Because I'm, I'm fairly confident that you won't be able to tell the difference. Really? Fairly confident. I That's believe me, you. Though. I'm a confident person. I think you are. And I'm I confident think you really in this are. cup. All right, here we go. So I, uh, in case anyone's wondering, I'm using the block party here. Uh, I, I'm dosing and uh, distributing using the uh, BT wedge distribution tool. This isn't what we're talking about necessarily. And I'm tamping with the new levy tamp. But just in case anybody is wondering what this is, we have other videos that outline these tools. Yeah. Like last week's video. Like last week's video. Last week's video. Okay. I'm just gonna time this. Hopefully the shot turns out okay. If it doesn't, that's fine too. It's not so much about the coffee today, it's more about the cup. <clears throat> but with great cups comes great coffee. So I hear. I think that that's true. With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, yeah. All right. So while you're pulling that shot, should we at least tell them that it is dishwasher safe? Sure. But you should only do it on a cold rinse. So yes. on a cold cycle, other than that, we recommend hand washing. Just because of the ceramic coating, it can peel off if it is kind of put under too hot of water and hot pressure so many times, just right. like with regular ceramics. Um, is it a shot. perfect shot? It's perfect. A two to one ratio? Yes, it is. Hey, you're learning. I yeah. am learning. Yeah, um, uh, honestly though, I use, my, I use my cup in the dishwasher all the time. Don't turn around yet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but it, it's been fun. I've been using it since we got these cups in stock over a year ago in the dishwasher. And Hasn't happened to me, so if it happens to someone else, I don't know. But they're very, they're fairly sturdy unless you have a really hot dishwasher with a really hot rinse and stuff yeah. like that. So, no, like she's saying, sturdy. just be careful if you have a really high grade industrial washer with really high temperatures. Maybe the best thing is just to rinse it out, wipe it down. Like these cups, like stay clean like fairly well so you shouldn't have to put it in the dishwasher. I've never had anything actually stick to the inside like even when I've had coffee and if I've left coffee in it overnight I've never had a horrible time like scrubbing it out especially if we do if I've done a latte in them or if you've done a latte in one for me and I've like left it mm -hmm. it's never like stuck I just rinse it with really hot water on the inside totally. and then I'm able to wash it so yeah they're super easy to clean hopefully we can demonstrate that uh, let's do a top view real quick just so you can get a really good visual of the cup before we uh, put put things in them. So the bottom has that starship on it. The cute you can button. See. <laughs> and 
and then uh, has details around the edge and it's just nice and clean ceramic on the inside um, yeah and really we, simple uh, modern design cup and people can get their names engraved on them yes we also yes, do engravings, we do on, engravings them, so on them that's good to know all right so I'm going to secretly put coffee in one of these okay, so I turn around right now. and then like like yeah, close your eyes, September. All right, so I'm gonna put it in this cup. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that didn't work. I should have moved that. Don't look. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I promise. <laughs> I have my beanie over my eyes too. This is some really nice ASMR though. Yeah. <laughs> I accidentally got some coffee on the edges of these and stuff, so <gasps> hopefully that doesn't ruin our test. There's paper towels over there. Okay, so I have coffee in this one. Let's do a top view. Nice and coffeeed up, right? It smells good. It's strong too. I'm just going to rinse it. Rinse it out. Not even going to use a rag on it. And we'll see. See if September can tell the difference between the different cups. All right. Got our cups cleaned up. Let's put some water in these. All right, you can turn around, September. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's bright. All right, I know which one had coffee in it, and you're gonna taste them. See if you can taste the difference. Taste them all? Yeah. Okay. A little sip. Stardust one. Does that taste hyper pure or what? That one's water. That one's water. That one, I don't think had any coffee in <laughs> they're it. They're all water. I know they're all, they are <laughs> all water. One of them's vodka. <laughs> I honestly don't think you put coffee in any of these. It's hyper pure. No, I'm being really serious. Which one did you actually put it in? Because I can't tell. Like the only Wait, thing take a guess. I want to say this one just because this one's warmer than these two. <coughs> you cheated. Okay, yeah, that's did right. Oh, it's but warmer. no, they like all. It's a little <laughs> bit warmer. It's like a little. I didn't account a, for that in the testing. It's uh, a little bit warmer. Variabilities. But it tastes the exact same as our stuff. So like, if it wasn't warmer, I wouldn't have been able to tell. But yeah. I didn't think any of them had coffee. Dang, in it, I lost. To be I was so confident that you wouldn't be able to do it, but you did. Good job. Brilliant. You win. You win. You win an Atlantis Cup. Congratulations. No, uh, but like she said, like you can go from water to coffee, water to coffee. You can keep coffee in here for 24 hours, you know, rinse it out, maybe wipe it down at that point, but, and then put water in it. You're not, you're not going to be able to taste the, the coffee residue. And so uh, the main things to highlight about this, this cup is um, how it maintains temperature, how it does not retain uh, taste, you know, from the previous drink. Um, I've also drank this with like whiskeys and stuff and it's awesome. Uh, it's splash resilient. It's not splash proof because of the lid, it has the hole in it, but that's what our uh, Sojourner is for in the Hyper Pure line. Um, and then uh, it also works like, so a really cool setup in your house, if you're really wanting to, um, <laughs> if you're really wanting to like keep your setup really simple at home and you're like, I like good coffee, I have a really small counter space, really small setup. What I like to do uh, in, in that case, and I, I do this sometimes when I travel, I'll just bring a cup like this, I'll like pack coffee in it or whatever, um, like coffee grounds and, and some filters or whatever, fold it up in there and I'll take it out um, and I'll just use it like this with like a, a kettle. And this could be your entire, entire coffee setup. It's just a, uh, a pour over setup like this. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, and just put the C70 on top, pour over with our uh, perfect pour over kettle and you're, you're good to go. You just put a lid on it and take it with you and take it to work and keep it hot all day. So that's what I do. I, I, like, to, I like to drink out of this at work every day, all day. We that's all do. all I use. <laughs> yeah. We all do. Uh, we all love this cup. It's pretty much the best cup 
on the market in our opinion. So yeah, if uh, are there any more questions coming in? Um, how heavy is the cup? Ooh, let's weigh it. That's a good question. I actually don't Thank know. Thank you for that question. But I can say, since I started working here and I got one of those cups, all of my friends um, I'm such a love one to love to take them. Like they really all, they all really really love the cups, and so do I. So. All right. So this is turned out. Um, let's do without the lid and with the lid. I tried to dry this out, make sure there's no water in there. The cup itself is about 160 grams. Um, I don't know what that is in pounds, but you know, if I you're mean, into cooking, grams is what you go by. Um, with the lid, it's 185 grams. So, really light, uh, really strong. Uh, it's again, it's a uh, uh, metal skeletal structure, but it has the ceramic lining, so oh. it's a really clean cup of you know whatever you're drinking, water or coffee. Um, it's less than a pound. Fits perfectly in your cup holder. Looks great. Simple, simple design. Uh, modern design and yeah love it um, anything else we want to add to this I think you know any it. more testing that we need to do that we didn't do I mean I, I will always take a coffee in one but yeah let's do it I mean pretty simple I'll make one after the stream but if you guys have any questions about the uh, the Atlantis cup um, just comment them and then we will you know do our best to answer all the questions that come in as they come in so thank you for watching thanks for watching our uh, live stream and joining in and commenting if you did and uh, we'll see you next time in the monastery of flavor